what's up guys today we're going to be checking out some inshore fishing locations in naples first up is freedom park it's a great spot to catch tilapia we've seen gar in there um what are they red-eared sunfish uh and i've heard there's bass there but i've not yet caught one it's catch and release only but it's still a great spot to go a couple of different bait options would be worms, minnows, or these darker colored shad tails. Using the brighter colored ones, they'll basically disappear in the water and the fish won't be able to see them. And of course, Cody had to peek under the dock to see if he could spot any fish or maybe an alligator. But there was nothing down there, so we moved on to the next spot. Up next is the Marco Island Bridge. Um, you really want to check on what the tide is doing to be fishing there if it's slack maybe some shrimp just cast out onto the bridge and you might catch a few things but you really want to go when the current is going in or out we went back to marco island at night and cody caught his first snook fish third if you count mills too there's just a little bit almost the size Yes, guys. First, uh, <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my god. So Up next is the I-75 bridges. We usually go in right off of Golden Gate, and it's a great place to go try and catch some peacock bass. And of course, the Naples Pier is always a great option for fishing. They have a blanket permit so anyone can go down there and fish. You don't need to have a license, you don't need to be a resident. Just get a pole and some lures or some shrimp or whatever bait you prefer and just have fun and you can pretty much catch anything out there too from jacks to sharks to pompano, you name it, you can catch it. And here Cody is rigging up a shad tail onto a jig head. So he's gonna fish off the bottom and just let the current do the work. And this lure that I'm using right now is hand poured by a gentleman that works at Serenity Bait off of Davis. So be sure to go check those out. I caught of quite a few jacks on those the other day actually. Whiting make great cut bait, so other fishermen probably will want them if you catch them. And as always, thanks for watching guys, and be sure to stay tuned for more adventures in Florida. Mm -hmm.